Welcome back to my channel. Gang. All right, gang. Today we're going to do a reaction to uh, Ren Future and Bibby Crutch. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I got a couple of uh, requests to do this song. I'm not going to lie. I like a lot of his music, but I don't know what he's going to really be talking about on this. So I'm not going to lie. Hey, with that being said, I'm not going to hold y'all on. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit on case, but you don't know, forget to my post. Make sure y'all follow my social media. going to be down in the description below. And look. I'm finna get right into it. Pop that big body. Pop that dark out back. He don't know who don't shot know who it. Shot Too many rats can't fit in no water. No Double cup, fill him up. My shit poppin'. That bitch gon' fuck with whoever pop. And my niggas ball like Miami Dolphin. I hate your block blood for ops now. Alright, gang. Alright, gang. Y'all know what I'ma say. What I'ma say? <laughs> we not gonna judge it. Why? Because we do not know what to expect. With that being said, I'm finna get right into it. Hey, I know it's probably gonna be hard. Not I'm not gonna lie. We are as dynamic as our texture, and when we give our hair the moisture it craves, we can style it freely and let it say or be whatever we want it to. Introducing new hair, hair care for, for us and, and the next, next of us. Oh, oh, I gotta try that. I gotta try that. Too bad I cut my hair. Troubles won't follow me. I've got none to lose. Hold on, wait, y'all. Hear me out. He said, Maybe if I move, my troubles won't follow me. I thought that. I thought that. <laughs> that did not. <laughs> that's not true. It, so don't think. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to be sound rude, but that's not true. It's not true because don't matter where you go, you're gonna still have the same problem because your problems are within you. So I can go across the country and I still have those same problems I had. In America, you feel me? So what I'm saying is, you gotta, you gotta um fight. You basically gotta deal with your problems at hand, and you you can move out of the state to make it easier. But so you could isolate yourself, make it a little bit easier. That's what I did. But is your problems are not just gonna disappear because you move? Okay. I've got none to lose. Cause everything done to dust around me. Yep. My hope it got so bruised. Mm. Hold up. So y'all, I'm like, hold up, man. I see how this is finna go. I'm sorry, y'all, because I feel like I'm gonna pause it a couple times because of what he's saying. He said my hope has been so bruised. Y'all, I stopped giving hope to certain people because so many people will give my hopes up. People will tell me they gonna do this, do this, that. And then it comes down time to it and they just give your hopes up. My hope's been bruised for a long time. That's why I stopped giving my hopes up and I only have hope in myself and God. Because I know these are two people that's not going to fail me. I'm not going to fail myself and God is never going to fail me. So I don't have to ever worry about what he tells me is going to happen. It's going to forever happen. He's not going to get my hopes up. I've learned that. So you cannot really, you can't put your trust in a lot of people. I'm learning that. You got to really just trust with yourself and God. Those are the only two people that would never forsake you, would never Never, never deceive you, bro. <laughs> I promise. My hope it got so bruised. Crazy. Cause circumstance held me and it drowned me. Mm. I'm searching for the glue. Mm. To try and fix these broken things around me. Hear me out, y'all. Okay, I'm not even trying to pull. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm really sorry. He said, I'm looking for the glue to try to fix the things, the broken things around me. Hear me out, y'all. Do y'all remember when I said that I was feeling like I was doing everything for everybody else, trying to fix everybody else that was broken around me because I want to know, I want everybody happy. I want people to be happy. That's just me. I want everybody to be happy, man. So I was putting myself on the front line to make other people happy, but then I wasn't happy. So I'm fixing these broken people and now I'm broken. You get what I'm saying? So that's not always the way to go. I understand you want to help other people and that's okay, but don't help a person too much to where you don't have nothing to help yourself. Yourself come first. I understand you want to help another broken person. I always want to help another broken person, but what I'm learning is I always help these other broken people and these once I fix them, they leave me broken and they don't care that I've helped to fix them. So, hey, like I say, pour into yourself, do for yourself. If you feel like somebody else is broken, okay, you go. You can go fix them a little bit. But don't put your all into that person and you don't have nothing to give to you. 
You feel me? And I'm not trying to preach to y'all. I'm just trying to tell you what it is. Don't give some. Don't give everything to somebody else, cause you would need that in the end. I promise. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. Uh. My love, if I lose my mind, I'll be so ashamed if you witness. I'll try my best for you mm. to try and keep my head, but my God is slipping. And I Hold up, y'all. He said, "I try my best for you because basically, he don't. You not it." <clears throat> Hear me out, y'all. <sighs> Okay, well, you know it's sometimes it's hard to show the person you love your weak side because you they're known for you to be strong, so you don't want to show them when you're like you're not your best. And that's been me. That's part of the reason why I did move because I knew I wasn't my best, and I couldn't let the people I love see me that way because I didn't want to be around nobody when I'm weak. And you, you get what I'm saying? I couldn't let the people I love see me in a horrible state. And you, you get my, my mental, my anxiety wasn't where I wanted to be. I didn't want to be around my nephew, my sister, because I didn't want them to see me that way. You feel me? So what I did was he, he kind of had the right thing. I, I, I isolated myself for a year and a half and I'm just coming out of isolation. You guys, I isolated myself for a year and a half and that was probably like the best thing I could have done because I worked on myself. So me and God worked on me so much, y'all, <laughs> so much. And to the point I came out on top, I came out and I'm happy. I am the, everybody come to me advice, everybody come to me for advice, and everybody, since I've been back, a lot of people tell me like, oh, Ty, you so happy, and a lot of people ask me like, why, a lot of people keep asking me like, why did you, ask, why did you go, so, why, like, why did you leave, and I could never tell them until I'm ready to tell them, like, I ain't ready to talk about that with them, you get what I'm saying, y'all know because I told y'all, but I'm not ready to talk about that with them right now, because it's not, sometimes venting to the wrong people is what be the downfall of your life. Don't vent to the wrong people. I've been there. I vented to the wrong people about what I wanted to happen. And it never happened because I vented to the wrong people. I'm going to try to pause no more. I'm sorry, y'all. My head, but my God is slipping an unspoken truth. I feel my body dying as the clock keeps ticking and everything Man. I knew. Painted with a fear that it's all for nothing. Could I interrupt? If the weight should get too heavy, I'll help hold the spot. Oh my god. Oh my god, I really man, she said, can I man? <laughs> she said if the weight get too heavy, can I help you hold it? Everybody wants somebody like that. Everybody really kind of needs somebody like that to help. Take some of the pain off of your heart. Take some of this weight off of me. You get one? Because you need that. You need that, man. <laughs> you, whether you need it, whether you want to admit it or not, we all need somebody. We all deserve to have somebody that love you the way you love them. And somebody to help you make life a little bit easier. You know, somebody that makes it easier for you to feel your emotions. You know, somebody that doesn't make it hard to feel your emotions. They make, you know, they take like the, the heavy burden off of you. You know, I feel like everybody deserves it. I always try to be there for people I'm in a relationship with. And it seems to, I was never getting that back. You, you get what I'm saying? So I've learned to just put out into the universe what I want to get back. But I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm not meaning to pause it. But I would say I think everybody deserves to have somebody that, that feels that way about them. Hey, let me know what, let me know what y'all think in the comments. You get too heavy, I'll help hold the spot. I'll walk with you, my love. Man. That's so sweet. See what I'm saying? Oh my god! The man I know is brave, so don't you dare say you're folding. I can man. Until we both grow old and the curtains close. Hear me out, y'all. I wanted that love so bad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I've wanted that love for somebody else to show me that. But hear me out, y'all. And I'm not even gonna lie. I just caught the angel number two 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 on the uh when I paused it. But listen, I just um I wanted that for myself a lot. But what it took for me to learn is that Ty, 
it's it's not meant for nobody to you I was always the 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 hard I was always the rock for everybody I was with. I was always the person that's trying to be strong for them and I was never vulnerable. I was never able to be vulnerable with them and I just never understood like who am I supposed to confide in? If you never, you know, you never give me the chance to speak my truth or speak how I'm feeling. Who am I supposed to confide in? And I'm you're confiding in me, you're then to me, but I have nobody to go to. So I had learned that's what y'all. Y'all don't even know. I've been th I've been uh single three years strong, and I am proud of that. I'm proud of that because it, it took those three years took the most. I'm not like it took me three years to work on myself, but I came out on top. And I am blessed. I am beyond blessed but i'm not gonna lie y'all i believe everybody wants that love i really hope that everybody at least gets to experience this love at least one point one point in time in your life i'm waiting to experience this love and i know this love is coming for me really soon and i just been having that feeling god been talking to me and uh i just say keep your head up stay strong bro stay strong because we we all go through our own thing don't mean we can't lift each other up don't mean don't mean we can't lift each other up. And I try to get people to understand. I might be going through the hardest time. And they might be going through something hard too. But just because I'm going through something worse than them. Don't mean I cannot tell them. Give them words of encouragement. I cannot. Those not mean I cannot support them in their journey. Hey. Man. I am confused, but I know in your heart I will find relief. Y'all, man, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. That is, man, it's so deep, y'all. It's so deep on a different level that I can connect to. I just be trying to say it. But I know sometimes people be getting mad that I pause it so much. I know, but I just can relate to it. I just be really trying to speak on what I, what I, what I feel when I uh, hear his music. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. I can relate to that as far as like, Emotion, this like, this um, this song kind of emotion like uh, reminds me of like not being able to control your feelings, like, like your you're emotionally like uh, kind of like emotionally wreck, because like you're in one headspace, but then you're in the next the next minute, like you don't know how to cope with yourself and you don't know how to control your emotion. And I've been there before. I'm not gonna lie, I've been there to where one minute I could be fine, the next minute my anxiety is through the roof and I'm spazzing out because I don't know what to do with myself. And I don't know how to run from my problems. And I don't know how to fix my problems because I'm running from them. You get what I'm saying? So I've been there. I've been there. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've been there, man. And that's why I say I'm always I'm an open book. Y'all can ask me whatever y'all want to ask me. Ask me anything I'm open to tell y'all because I'm comfortable with y'all. I'm an open book. I'm willing to say whatever. I'm willing to help anybody in any way I can help them. Because like I say, I wish I had that kind of help. Hey, who texted me? And look, she's not even there. <laughs> y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I got a story time. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If y'all want this specific story time, I will drop this for another video. I got a story time about that, about this little situation. What he just went through, I went through that simple. That similar thing, I'm not gonna lie. If y'all want that story time, let me know in the comments. I will give y'all that story time, and it will. I probably will drop it on this channel. I won't mind dropping it on the channel. If y'all want it on this channel, let me know if y'all want it on this channel or y'all want it on my lifestyle channel. If y'all want it on my lifestyle channel, you gotta follow my lifestyle channel. It will be in the description below. But listen, gang, I'm gonna give y'all that video because I feel like I feel like that story time helps somebody. I don't know why, but I'm getting that feeling that it will help somebody. This is a deep song, man. That's deep. Three, three, three. Hey, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. This, 
I like his music. I really like the the songs y'all have been giving me because it really helped me a lot. It helped me cope. I'm not going to lie. And it helps me speak my truth. But like I said, his music has made it easier for me to speak of my, like what I've been through. And it's never been easy until now. And I'm not going to lie. I appreciate all of my supporters because I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all have really made this journey for me easy. Y'all have made it easy to talk about what I've been through because I know somebody else out there can relate. And I really, I'm not going to lie. I feel... When y'all tell me that I inspire y'all or I've helped you in a way, y'all don't know how good that make me feel. I swear to God, it made me feel so good. It just make my heart smile because that's all I want. I want to be able to help somebody because this is the help I would have wanted, but nobody gave me this help. So I'm willing to give it to anybody else who needs it. Hey, guys, I'm not going to hold y'all on me. Y'all like and subscribe. You know, in case you're in front of my post, make sure y'all follow my social media. going to be dying in the description below. And look, I'm out.